Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. Now that we've cleaned up a little bit more, we've we finished up this kingdom and had a little bit of a look at the Wooded Kingdom since I still have that to do. But now, let's move on. Now we can head to Bowser's Kingdom. Wait a second. Oh, that can't be good. Since he took the time to steal the stupendous stew, I imagine that's what he's serving at the reception. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Side somersaults. Quickly turn in the opposite direction and jump. Now back to our investigation. Next up we have... What? The Bowser in Bowser's Kingdom? Is that Bowser? I've got a bad feeling about this. What? Are we shaking? Why? <laughs> Let's see you survive this, plumber boy. Wouldn't you know it, the Odyssey is broken again. To fix it, we must collect more power moons. And we are now we're in the ruined kingdom. We've got these things that we can break off with Cappy. We've got glowing spots that we can ground pound for stuff. But let's just go. got a boss, we have to fight this gigantic dragon. It's gonna make these things appear around us. We have to dodge those. They will roll towards us if we're not careful. So we have to try and bait them, basically. And go in ways that they can't. And now we need to jump over his electric wires, I guess? I don't know. And now, let's take out these things on his head and let's ground pound. Now we just need to do that a few more times. There's a few glowing spots in the ground which will give you hearts if you need them. Which is good. But now, he's got more of those rings and more of these lasers. And also more of these things that we need to take out of his head before we can ground pound. We can do this. A 
Oh, he's creating a lot. He's creating a lot. He's creating a lot. He's creating a lot. Okay. Also, if you cap bounce well enough while he's doing his electric wires, you can mostly jump over all of them. Mostly. Let's just get rid of these last things. And hit him again. Time to finish him off. Okay, let's go. The Odyssey is repaired. Well, that was certainly a doozy of an interruption, but I'm glad we got the ship fixed. Next, let's look at Bowser's kingdom. Hmm, architecture, statues, Bowser's castle. Wait, he's got his own castle? Man, we've got to help those two. Infiltrate Bowser's Castle. This is it. The showdown. So, let's just quickly go around here. And this Bowser's head is on backwards. So let's spin Cappy on that, which makes fire come out. But also a power moon, which is red. Quarter on the iron fence. So I'm going to try and keep this fairly focused from this point on. I'll get a few power moons when I need them. But we're basically just at the very end now. Grab all these Goombas. Just for another power moon since I'll need it. Oh, come on. Grab it. There we go. If we take this entire stack back here, there's a Goomba switch that we can hit with 10 Goombas and we get a Power Moon. And you have to do that every single time, just take out the entire stack. So let's keep going. Each of these areas is connected by one of these electric rails. We also have a new capture here, these Pokey Birds. I don't actually know what they're called, but we can press Y to poke. We can take out a lot of things, but we can also poke into the wall and then hold in a direction and let go to launch ourselves a little, little, bit, little bit in that opposite direction. So, and we can also shake to just spin straight up, so that's useful. Let's keep going. Third courtyard. Gotta take these notes as well. For another power moon. Also have to avoid these spinies around the place because you can't 
really take them out. And this guy comes towards you and the red area in front of him is where he's gonna smash you, which means you want to avoid that. But if you can jump onto his block that he crushes the ground with, uh, you can ground pound on his head, which has the ground pound symbol on him. Smart bombing. Okay, let's go. There's quite a few purple coins to get around here as well. So I might try and get a few of those. Which are... I don't even know what shape they are, but they're Bowser. Thanks. Okay. And while I'm here, I'm also going to get these moon pieces that are around the place. Okay. Let's grab a pokey bird thing. And with these pokey birds, we can actually poke these bombs which sends them flying into stuff that we want to break. Oh, don't hit me please, thank you. Let's hit that please. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Okay, good. I'll grab that and break that. And if we insert the pokey nose into the thing in the wall, we can get a power moon. Now, I believe there's a few other things around here that we can do. I know I said I wasn't going to get too distracted by other things, but I do need power moons still. Okay. Let's go up here and get this. There's also some purple coins that I can guess I could get. Although I, I, I can probably leave them. Probably. Just for now, they're very obvious and notable, so I can get them at a different point in time. What I can do now, though, is actually go down here and go get these purple coins. But that's not the only thing down here. If I can actually get over there, please. Oh, careful. You can also drop down the back of this area to get here quicker. But here is another power moon. So let's grab this power moon. And let's keep moving. Big Brutal Battle. Hang on. Just, just a sec. Okay, that's just the cloud glow. Here's the shop, but we're going to ignore that. We're getting very close to the top of this area now. But before we can move on, we need to do some stuff here. And I love these Bowser statues. They're so cool. <laughs> the boss wasn't kidding when he said you two to her, uh, persistent. But I owe it to the family, to all the brutals, to come at ya with everything I got. So we have to rematch some of these brutal bosses again before we can move on.
Oh, please hit him. Thank you. Oh, he's got a big hat stack now. Ow. But anyway, has to actually take three hits this time. I'm not sure if we fought him a second time since the beginning of the game. I'm pretty sure we did. But anyway, just hit him a little bit more. I might actually get him to attack me. There we go. Now oh, I didn't even do my attack properly. That's fine because there we go. And we destroy the Bowser statue, which is sad because they look so cool. So enjoy them while they last, basically. Yep, the wedding's almost there here. The boss is getting ready in the keep up ahead. But you two can scram, because you're definitely not invited. Have to rematch her again. Good hit. Very nice. Very nice. Get back, please. Thank you. Oh, that was a terrible shot. It has to be either to the left or right because she throws two bombs. You have to actually hit her directly to get it to work properly. Very nice. One more hit to go. Just need to push her back a little bit more. And then hit her directly. And there we go. That's all the brutals out of the way. Showdown at Bowser's Castle. And the music is different here, which is cool. We've finally reached the main courtyard. So let's take a look at this wall up here. Gonna have to go through that, which isn't gonna be too bad, but anyway. Quickly, let's just go down here, past these carp, these fish, let's grab this power moon, and now we're pretty much set, except I'm stuck on something, there we go. Let's grab one of these pokey birds, oh I just sent the other one into the, the water, that's a shame. Anyway, let's go up here, and right off the edge is actually something for us, so let's nearly fall into that. Oh, I got hit by- oh, I'm dead. <sighs> Could have done something there, but anyway. There's actually a faster way to get up there without going across the pond area as well, so let's just, uh, I believe... Yeah, we can hook onto here and then launch yourself up like that, which is nice. But anyway, if I can actually get myself into this hole here, we get a power moon. And we could go through the pipe which takes us back a little bit, but I actually want to keep this a little bit more. I'm only getting the moons at the moment that I feel are like this is a good time to get them. Which I believe off the edge here are some purple coins. Let's grab those. You can also kind of 
maneuver yourself into a good spot to get those when you uh, poke the wall. Okay, crush that please. Thank you. Might also take him out if I can while he's here. Please. He does put the thing back over his head again, so I need to be quick. But there we go. Hit inside a block in the castle. And right up this way. Some more blocks, but also... Captain Toad. I was walking along these rooftops for so long I got lost. But I found this power moon, so it's not all bad. Good to see you, Captain Toad. Now, which way was I headed? Good question, Captain Toad. I don't know where you were headed, and I don't know how you're going to get di anywhere from there because you can't jump. But anyway, we need one of these Pokebirds now. Oh, he's dead. There he goes. But anyway, these rocks on the ground are where enemies respawn, so... Let's just grab you straight away. Didn't even know life before I took you away. And now let's go up this wall. Remember to shake to go quickly, basically. Even if you're holding a direction other than... Like, if you, even if you're not holding a direction, you can still go in that direction faster. Or well, even if you are holding a direction, you can still go in that direction faster by shaking. Oh, please. Grab those. Let's get up here. Okay. I believe there are also some coins that you can get if you poke your nose into the hole in the wall here, but I don't need those, so I'm going to just ignore that then. And go up a little bit more. And we're pretty much at the end here. Beneath the keep. You're too late. We're off to our wedding ceremony on the moon. Time to take on the Brutal's Mega Machine. And it drops out a, uh, a thing for us, conveniently, a Pokey Bird. Which means we can poke these bombs right back into its legs, putting a crack in it. And eventually, breaking it down, we need to be careful where it lands. But now, underneath all of this metal, is some wood that we can use to get up here nice and quickly. We can do some damage. Let's see if I can actually stay on top of this thing, because... Oh, no, 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 no. No, ah. Uh, you can stay on there if you cap bounce well enough, but it's a very difficult trick to do. But it's very cool when you can actually do it. You can do damage as just Mario, just you need to... Oh, be careful. Poke it, or, you know, ground pound on it to do some damage. Or throw a cappy. There's also some holes on the side that open up when he's when the legs aren't moving that you can use to get up as well without taking out its legs but I'm just gonna do it normally I guess there we go which way is he falling that way works for me it always falls with one of the brutals up if you knock it over he 
here we go. Oh please, no! Oh, it also gets this rainbow power up now. Which means it can just go running straight at you so you have to have to dodge it. Long jumps to your friend. And then eventually, if it wants to fight, if they want to fight me again, it's going to drop these things on the ground which you want to get rid of if you can or just avoid because they will do damage to you. Come on, Pokey Bird, Pokey Bird, Pokey Bird. Thank you. I don't even know if I can get up the sides at the moment. Nope, not even gonna try. You can poke these with the po Pokey Bird as well. Usually the this boss will just get rid of its own rings, so you don't have to worry too much about that. How do I get both of those legs? Come on. Give me the bombs. Give me the bombs. You also try, need to make sure you don't get cornered by this boss. Because otherwise, you'll be in a little bit of trouble. Which way is it falling? It's kneeling, okay. I can work with this. Let's go up. And up again. Very nice. Okay, it's gonna throw me off. And then I cat bounce back on. Be very careful though, because if it turns while you're trying to do things, bad things will happen. I'm just gonna wait for it to stop. Oh, it's glowing, it's glowing, it's glowing. I need to go faster. No, 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 no. Oh, where am I? Where am I? I'm here. Oh my goodness. Just ground pound. Nope, I missed. That's a shame. Because I stayed on that long, but I couldn't ground pound him. But anyway, that's fine. Guess I'm just fighting it normally then. Pretty sure he's the last one too. So if I can actually get up there. That'd be amazing, except that doesn't work. Okay. No, not when the face is there. Come on. Come on. Give me the bomb. Nice shot. And which way is it falling? Good thing I moved out of the way. And let's get up there. And let's finish this. Also, I've been meaning to say this for a while, but Multi Moon's alternate name is Grand Moons, like the Grand Stars from Super Mario Galaxy. We're one step away, and Bowser flew off to the moon. But we can chase after him in the Odyssey. Just throw me onto that globe. We have enough moons to continue. Odyssey is complete, and now we have the yellow sail. There are more moons to get in the Bowser Kingdom, but I think we're just about ready to finish this. Bowser's not getting away, we'll chase after him all the way to the Moon Kingdom. Come on, let's save those two. But that is it for now, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.